okay good morning everyone and uh, today we will do synthesis of 2 uh, 3 diphenyl quinoxaline so we'll learn the mechanism of it we'll learn the reaction and the reaction conditions for 2 3 diphenyl quinoxaline synthesis okay. so this is what is 2 3 diphenyl quinoxaline okay this is 2 3 diphenyl quinoxaline now look at the structure this structure is the basic structure of this particular intermediate and it is called as quinoxaline okay so this is a phenyl ring and another aromatic ring which is directly attached or fused with the first aromatic ring and then we have two nitrogen atoms on it you know uh, in uh, para to each other so this ring is called quinoxaline and because and because we have a substitution that two and three positions with two different phenyl rings that's how it is called as 2,3 diphenyl quinoxaline okay so this is quinoxaline its numbering starts from here or maybe here so this is one two three four so this is two and three position wherein we have two phenyl groups and hence this is 2,3 diphenyl quinoxaline okay and how do we go about its synthesis अगर रेट्रो सिंथेसिस की बात करें तो प्रोडक्ट देखो एंड देन गो बैकवर्ड्स टू ट्राई एंड गेस व्हाट वुड बी द स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल्स सो इफ यू ब्रेक दिस फ्रॉम हियर इफ यू ब्रेक दिस प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम हियर ओके द सी डबल बॉन्ड एन बोथ ऑफ देम देन व्हाट विल गेट इज विल हैव बेंजिल एज वन ऑफ द स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल्स एंड देन विल हैव ऑर्थोफेनल इन डायमाइन एज द अदर स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल ओके और तो फिनल इन डायमाइन क्यों क्योंकि दिस इज बेसिकली एनिलिन राइट दिस इज बेसिकली एन एनिलिन बट देन वी हैव टू अमाइनो ग्रुप लोकेटेड और तो टू इच अदर ऑन दिस ऑन दिस एरोमेटिक रिंग और दिस फिनाइल रिंग ओके इसीलिए दिस इज और तो फिनल इन डायमाइन सो और तो फिनल इन डायमाइन प्लस बेनजिल विल गिव अस टू थ्री डायफिनाइल क्विनोक्सैलिन सो दिस वुड बी बेसिकली अ कंडेंसेशन टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन and then for this condensation to happen we know that condensation reaction usually requires support from catalyst right so in order for the condensation reactions to happen we will need to have a reagent or a catalyst and here we'll need to have a acidic catalyst okay here we'll need a acidic catalyst so orthophenyl diamine and benzyl when dissolved in rectified spirit so rectified spirit is the solvent over here okay so it is used to dissolve orthophenyl diamine and benzyl and then in the presence of an acid in the presence of an acid like a pa paratoline sulfonic acid we'll have the product 2 3 diphenyl quinoxaline okay now have a look yahan pe this is the iupac name and this d should be capital okay this d should be capital and that is what we have mentioned in our title slide so this is 2 3 diphenyl quinoxaline okay and then this is a method of condensation of an aryl 1 to diamine so this is aryl 1 to diamine with 1 to dicarbonyl compound so this is 1 to dicarbonyl okay one to dicarbonyl compound by heating in spirit which is used as a solvent so spirit is nothing but alcohol right and here condensation reaction of one to diamines with alpha diketones occur with cyclization okay so there will be a condensation reaction between this one to diamine and this alpha diketone alpha diketone is nothing but alpha dicarbonyl compound right and then we will have we will have a condensation reaction wherein cyclization will also occur so those condensation reactions wherein cyclizations occur such reactions are also called as cyclo condensation reactions okay cyclo condensation reaction so this is basically a cyclo condensation reaction and then uses of 2,3 diethyl quinoxaline it, it has multiple uses it is used as an antiviral as an antibacterial as an anti inflammatory agent as an anti protozoal as an anti cancer agent uh, uh, which is used in the treatment of colon cancer therapies and then antidepressant 
anti hiv agent so anti hiv agent is essentially anti viral agent and then it is also used as kinase inhibitor etc so it has far too many uses so hence this is a, a very important moiety and hence we are studying its synthesis okay now links to the videos for synthesis for 23 diphenyl quinoxanine these are the two links okay and uh, we'll go to them later or maybe you can look at, look at it on a, on your own but let us directly jump on to the mechanism for synthesis of 23 diphenyl quinoxanine so we know this is the structure of 23 diphenyl quinoxanine which we have just seen okay in our slide number 1 so what happens is this is benzyl okay this is benzyl and in the presence of a proton in the presence of a proton which comes from the acid catalyst what will happen is this pro proton will be uh, you know this oxygen which is rich in electrons isme do lone pair of electrons hai na these lone pair of electrons will attack this proton okay which has been donated by the acid catalyst so these lone pair of electrons will attack this proton and what will happen is this double bond o will get it pro protonated and because it gets protonated it will develop a positive charge positive charge is nothing but electron deficiency right there is nothing called as positive charge there is negative charge which is electron but there is nothing called as positive charge jahan pe hum log positive charge likhte that indicates it is electron deficient so this oxygen becomes electron deficient and then what happens is because this is a carbonyl kind of system and oxygen is electronegative it will tend to pull the pi bonding electrons of this c double bond o towards itself in turn it will make this carbonyl carbon electron deficient okay and once this becomes electron deficient the diamino group that we have used okay one two diamino group that we have used that is orthophenyl diamine in this case the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen will attack this will attack this electron deficient carbon okay and this electron now what we get is an uh, is a first condensation product jahan pe abhi condensation properly hua nahi hai but then this nitrogen is attached to this carbonyl okay so look at this this is the normal structure from uh, from orthophenyl diamine and then this is the part of the structure that we have obtained from benzyl right so this is nitrogen with its hydrogen intact and then c because this has attached attached to this carbon right so the, we have c single bond oh which comes here then this phenyl group and then this is carbon oh and phenyl which comes from here carbon oh and phenyl right this is part of the structure so this is just an addition product wherein condensation has not properly occurred condensation kab hota hai when a smaller molecule is removed and two bigger molecules join together right so look this is benzyl this is orthophenyl diamine they condense together and a smaller molecule of water is removed kaise ye wala hydrogen atom this will leave its lone pair of electrons onto this carbon onto this uh, uh, nitrogen and that will shift onto this bond and this oxygen being electron uh, electron negative it will tend to pull the sigma bonding electron towards itself in turn it will leave as oh minus we have a hydrogen leaving as h plus from here so both of them do that h plus and oh minus will combine and will get h2o water molecule being removed okay and then what we get is the this intermediate okay this intermediate now yahan pe kya hua kyunki yahan ka sigma bond has shifted on to cn bond hence we got a double bond over here and because this oh has left and combined with with h plus to give us water molecule what has happened is yahan se oh group is gone okay now what we are left out with is single bond ph single bond oh single bond ph now in the presence of a proton which is donated by acid catalyst again see this is uh, now the uh, series of steps would be the same what have happened here so in the presence of a proton now this hydrogen will this oh group will get protonated because this o which is rich in electrons that is it has two lone pair of electrons na? so that will attack this proton and what will have a c single bond o plus h2 right now because this o is electron deficient now it will tend to pull the electrons from the sigma bond towards itself okay and what will have is h2o leaving and this carbon will become electron deficient now 
the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen will now attack this electron deficient carbon and what we'll have is a condensation reaction wherein water molecule is leaving and we get a single bond ph and single bond n so this single bond n c single bond n bond forms because there is a reaction over here the attack of nitrogen on this electron deficient carbon okay and what we get is n single bond c so this will undergo aromatization it will lose a h2 molecule it will lose a h2 molecule and that h2 means hydrogen from here and this hydrogen would be lost as h2 and what will have is a double bond which is formed over here okay so this double bond was already there this double bond is formed and uh, uh, in the as a part of this reaction the last step of this reaction and uh, since this double bond is energetically favorable see if this hydrogen from here and this hydrogen from here both of them are lost in that case this compound will have a double bond over here and that makes it aromatic right that makes the ring aromatic and aromatization is energetically favorable that is why this reaction this last step will happen spontaneously okay this last step of loss of hydrogen molecule will happen spontaneously okay and hence we'll find our product is synthesized okay so that's it for the reaction Sir, sir. One minute. One minute.